Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Italy. We are round four of the FIA Motocross World Championship. Today is also round two of the European EMX125 Championship presented by FMF Racing. My name is Paul Malin. Thanks for joining us today live, as always, on MXGPTV.com. And what a fabulous part of the world we are in. There was a reason why I didn't speak over that opening uh, sequence there, just because the music, the atmosphere, the location, everything is just such a fantastic uh, sort of location to where we are in this Italian round here at Pietra Murata, the MXGP of Trentino. Uh, with a lot of things to do. Obviously, we've got the snow, Cat Mountains, more snow than we've had in previous years. And the actual racetrack here, we had a lot of rain last week, but you wouldn't know it. The guys have been out on the track. They did wonders yesterday. They've been on it again to, uh, through the night. And uh, they're getting ready to go racing for the second time this weekend. EMX 125 race two lining up now. They've had their morning warm up, 10 minutes. They've gone straight back to the waiting zone. And uh, they're getting ready to go. 25 minutes plus two. Here's the uh, start list, though. Oriel Oliver on pole after topping Group 1 yesterday from Kader Wolf, Tom Guyon, Eddie J. Wade, Mattia Guadagnini, uh, Andrea Bonacorsi. Flora Mio, though, will not be lining up today. Had a crash in the first corner yesterday, and uh, the Yamaha rider from MJC Europe will not make the gate today. So... Um, Unfortunate for him, but we do have a bit of a break until the next round, of course. Uh, they'll be in Mantova in about five weeks' time, as when we will be as well. But he'll be hoping to get ready for the French round shortly after that. Take a look down the grid, then. Here is your 101, the championship leader at the moment, Mattia Guadagnini. He sits on 68 points. He's seven clear now of the BRT KTM rider, Tom Guyon, number 27. And uh, there is... Oh, Liam Evans, actually number 72. What a great ride he had in race one yesterday. Seventh place, uh, best finish of the year so far for the young Belgian rider. After getting to, what, 17th and 12th in Holland a week ago. 312, there's your pole man, Oriol Oliver from uh, the RFME MX Junior team, so the Spanish Federation, stumping up to let these go, guys go riding this season. And they've got quite a few riders in there as well in that little uh, outfit. There's number 14 of Kayla Wolf, the Rockstar Energy Husqvarna rider. He was fastest in his uh, group two yesterday. So he goes to line second, just ahead of Eddie J. Wade. Eddie J. Wade on the F4E race in KTM launched himself yesterday. Apparently, I was talking to uh, Ash Manton from, from GoPro, and he said, did you see Eddie J. Wade's crash? And I'm sure he said Eddie J. Wade. So uh, there's Tom Guyon. Made a poor start yesterday, but uh, he got through eventually to second, just before the halfway mark. And uh, Jorgen Matthias Talvika, who was spectacular a week ago in Holland, he'll be looking for uh, similar performances this weekend. Finished fifth in race one yesterday on his A1M Husqvarna. There is a 75 of uh, Barcella. So the KTM race store rider lining up behind the gate. He finished sixth in race one yesterday. In fact, let's just give you the uh, top ten finishes from yesterday. Mattia Guadagnini uh, was your winner. Tom Guyon was second. Willem Marez Plaza was third. Kader Wolf at four. Jürgen Matthias Talvika was fifth. Alberto Barcella was sixth. Liam Everts seven. Mike Guerra eight. Matthias Vestrinen was nine. And Oriol Oliver was ten. Just waiting for the final riders to line up in the gate. So the 11th was Samuel Nilsson. Andrea Roncoli was 12. Adam Kovacs, 13. Alessandro Backer, we just saw him a moment ago, was 14. And then down the 20th from 15th, Rasmus Pedersen, Dave Kuica, Andrea Bonacorsi, Martin Van Hoda, Kiel Verbruggen, and uh, David Brasseres Martinez. We've got a green flag. The fly rate in 15 second board goes up for the second time this weekend for the EMX 125 riders. And they've got a brand new racetrack, five second quarters turn, and uh, away we go. Any moment now, 25 plus two for the EMX 125, presented by FMF Racing. And into the turn we'll go, and it's uh, Guadagnini and the number 14 of Cable Wolf right on his heels. Barcella there in third place. Then we've got the 516 just behind them, a good start for uh, Simon Langenfelder. So the German actually up into third now. 22 trying to go around the outside there. That is uh, Rafael Giusio. But it's the 101, Guadagnini making the short trip from home to be here this weekend. A stunning performance yesterday, won by a country mile. So artificially created two lines at the top of that drop down then. 
First time we've seen that in the years we've been coming here. But Guadagnini doing what he did yesterday, getting the flyer and starting to pull clear ahead of the field. Liam Everts just a couple positions behind. There's Talviku, the 261. There's the 22 of Giusio. And then Oriol Oliveira and Everts to the inside there, getting squeezed by the Spaniard in that top left corner. This part of the racetrack was so wet yesterday, but it did eventually clear out. Be interesting to see what they've done at the bottom of these hills, actually, because uh, they've got a line there that's crafted around the outside. You can still see that maybe a little sticky, but actually they've done a great job there as Talviku almost comes unstuck in that bottom turn. Front end grabs a handful, just starts to pour its way into the air, and uh, yeah, you see how wet it is at the top here still. But the track a lot more open at the bottoms of the hills now. They just need to get the MX2 and MXGP guys out there just to open it up even more. We're not due any rain from about 3 o'clock, if at all, today. But it is the first time we've seen blue skies as Tom Guyon stays nice and low as he looks to go past the guy in blue on the uh, A1M Asvana. Jürgen Matthias Talviku and absolutely taking no prisoners here on this opening lap. Tom Guyon for Team VRT there just pulling a tear off as he hits that Trentino jump there in the background before heading past pit lane for the first time today. But over the line, though, Guadagnini, your race leader, by uh, a second and a half. Simon Lagenfelder is third. Alberto Barcella is fourth. Guion up to fifth place. Matias, uh, Jorge Matias Talvico is sixth. Oriol Oliver is uh, seventh. Rafael Giusio, eighth. Matias Vestrinen and Liam Evans, your top ten. And then we've got Kjell Verbruggen, uh, Guilherm Perez Plaza, Mike Werder, Joel Rizzi up into uh, 14th place now. Eddie J. Wade, 15, Packer, Kuyka, Paulson, Max Ratchela, and Magnus Smith, they are your top 20. But Guyon going past Barcella there, just at the top of the hill. And he uh, definitely in the zone today, isn't he? Didn't make the best start, but he's making light work of those around him. Oriol Oliver in the red and yellow, looking to go down the inside of Talvico at the end of the straight, and he does, and he might do two into one here, you know. But Parcella just stays ahead. This guy here leading this trio now, number 75. He lost out a half a lap ago to Tom Guyon. And Talviku stalls and bobbles. And that might have been, uh, no, Ritzi, just too far back. In fact, it was the 43 of Matthias Vestrina. Dropping downhill. Breaking bump still there from yesterday. Alberto. Barcella, number 75. Launching his way down behind the pit lane area. The KTM race door, MX2, Max Bartolini rider. Max Bartolini, of course, uh, former 125 Grand Prix runner as Talviku up the inside of Giusio. So. Talviku making a couple of errors and losing a couple of positions this lap. He was in sixth, but he'll be just inside the top ten as he hits the line now. We're in uh, eighth place. So over the iPhone jump. Dropping downhill, Rafael Giusio, the rider just off the back of that group in blue, heading around the Parts Europe banner just at the bottom there in that tight turn. Coming uphill in ninth place. Uh, in fact, Kjelva Bruggen, number 242, has found his way past. So the 242 for Bruggen for No Fear Jumbo BT Racing Team Husqvarna. He's making a, a charge. Oriol Oliver, though. He's found his way past Barcella here. So the 312, red and yellow. The RFME MX Junior Racing Team rider from Spain. Holds a nice tight line at the bottom of the hill. Vestrina there, number 43. Just goes a little bit wider, but you know what? That was probably going to be a smart line before this race comes to an end because it looked like it was nice and tacky. Anyway, Guadagnini leads. He's four seconds clear of Kader Wolf. Kader Wolf on the Rockstar Energy Husqvarna. Uh, Simon Lagenfelder is third. And the uh, German, 
on the WZ race in KTM. 20th last year, had a best finish fourth overall in Latvia. Currently sits eighth in the championship. Well, actually, it was eighth before we came here. He will be now to seventh. Here's Kader Wolf. First round in 125 a week ago at Valkenswaard in the Netherlands. Led the second race, eventually came home in second. And that has just boosted his confidence no end because uh, getting some good starts. The little lightweight Team Wolf. And he's mixing it with the best of them at the moment. And he will be third in the championship. Uh, he was fourth before the weekend started, so he'll move up to third. Just one behind Tom Guyon. And here is Guyon on the VRT KTM. He is fourth in the race, going after Simon Langenfelder just at the end of the straight there on the WZ Racing KTM. But Tom Guyon just buries that KTM into that turn, looking for the, the momentum. Couple of bubbles on the way through, though. Those ruts at the bottom of those hills now just starting to chew up and get deep. Little single as they drop into that one there, possibly just to force the riders to the outside as the day goes on. But Guadagnini continues to lead. More than five seconds clear of De Wolf. Langenfeld a third. Guyon here is in fourth place. Oliver is in fifth. Oriol Oliver, six, Alberto Barcella, seven, Matias Bestrin, and eight, Jorgen Matias Talviku, nine, Kelvin Bruggen, and ten, uh, Guilherme Perez Plaza, eleven, Rafael Giuzio. He's been up and down like a yo yo in this race so far. Mike Guerra is 12. Liam Evitz has been pushed down to 13. Can he find a way back from there? Joel Ritzi, 14. Eddie J. Wade, 15. Max Paulson, Andrea Bonacorsi, Alessandro Facker, Dave Koika, and Magnus Smith. In fact, as I say that, Evitz up to 12th now. But nearly seven seconds clear. Mattia Guadagnini. Literally a home race for him. Lives around probably about 60, 70 k from here, actually. Him and Alberto Ferrato, both the Maddie Racing boys, but we've got Wave Jellos there. And who is that? That's Barcella. So Barcella, number 75, out of sixth place. Jorgos Matias, uh, Jorgen Matias Talviku, he won't care about that, though. He's got Vestrina just ahead of him coming towards us now. So Barcella just there in the background, around the outside. We've got Wave Jellos here in the corner as well. And it's Oriol Oliver. So a couple of riders then falling on lap five. Oliver from fifth and Barcella from sixth. Two separate corners. So the 312 picks himself up, rejoins the race just ahead of Jorgen Matthias Talviku, who had already found his way past Barcella after he'd fallen. So he takes two places, moves up to sixth place now, Jorgen Matthias Talviku in blue. Well, actually, just one place because uh, he didn't quite find his way past Oriol Oliver, did he? Down behind pit lane area, number 14, Kader Wolf, Rockstar Energy Husqvarna. Stays out of the deep berm early on, just holds a nice smooth transition through that left-hander, joins the berm a little later on. Into the final turn. Over the line, five laps complete, seven and a half seconds down. Oh, and Mattia Guadagnini, the race leader on the Maddie race in Husqvarna. Simon Langenfelder just behind in third, at four seconds back though. That'll be interesting when you get 40 riders go through it as they try to separate. That corner here just to the left was so open yesterday. 90 degree left, you can go from inside to outside and just drop off. Now you've got like that big wedge of dirt there that everybody's uh, packed in there together. Certainly uh, MX2 and MXGP guys. Might make things a little interesting, but uh, 27, Tom Gouillon hanging off the side of that VRT KTM as he goes after and is under the rear wheel of the 516 of Simon Langenfelder. Just ahead of him, Kader Wolf. So Kader Wolf needs to be on guard as well because Guyon just pushing the pace up here in that fourth place. He's the second rider in shot here, number 27. 
This drops down into that bottom left, off camber, very steep on the exit. A lot of rock and stone starting to come through. It's hard, it's slick, it's wet. A lot going on with the bike there, especially at the rear end as they exit that turn. Fans getting in early today. Max Paulson has been pushed down to 15th. I think he may have fallen, actually, because Bonacorsi, Joel Rizzi, Alessandro Facker, Dave Koika and Adam Kovacs have all gone by. Getting ready to uh, complete the sixth lap. Guadagnini already over the line. Kada Wolf hits the line eight seconds down, but this battle here for third, Langenfelder and Guyon. Starting to warm up nicely. Gained a second on uh, Kada Wolf. Starting to bring that gap down. Kader Wolf just hanging on at the moment. 13 plus 2 to go. Is he going to get caught by one or both of these as Guyon just loses his footing? As he crests the hill there, went to jump short on the step up. He just landed and uh, his foot slipped off the pegs. Just watch this here. Yeah, came in short there and then uh, bounced. Yeah, just lost his balance. Stays up though. Stays in the hunt for third, at least. And Lagenfelder getting uh, ever so closer. Sorry, getting closer to Lagenfelder. So Guadagnini, he continues to lead. Kader Wolf and Tom Guyon tied for second at the moment on 30 points, on 40 points apiece. So Tom Guyon, he will move to second overall if he finds his way past Lagenfelder here. Kader Wolf will still finish on 40, but he will be in third. But you can see here he is, he's being caught. So uh, Kader Wolf has obviously made some issue. Made a problem or he's made a mistake because he's been caught. He had about three seconds on these guys. What are his splits? Actually, he lost a... Yeah, he lost a couple of seconds on one of the sectors. Anyway, he's got his hands full now as Langenfelder and Tom Guyon. Yeah, nervous look over the shoulder from the young teenager. You see, he's just riding tight now because he's obviously trying to ride defensive. Doesn't want these guys to come through. A little bit of whiskey on the landing there. Backhand came around on him. Not riding as smooth as he was early on in the race. Again, goes defensive. Guillaume follows him, thinks he can find his way past Langenfelder, but it's the German who gets the drive up the hill and moves into second place on, laps, on lap eight. Kader Wolf tried to cut back to the inside, didn't get good drive there. It looks like he wants to rectify whatever mistake he made on lap seven. He goes outside. Has to look away as the roost comes up off the rear wheel of the WZ KTM 516 of Simon Langenfelder. In the fight now. So De Wolf on that Rockstar Energy Husqvarna finds himself in third on that white machine in the middle of these two KTMs. What's the gap from Tom Goyon to Oriel Oliver? More than 15 seconds. Up onto this plateau, this tight, compact racetrack here. Pietro Morata, the MX GP of Trentino, and the European round here of the MX 125, presented by FMF Racing. Got that turn nice, hasn't he, Kader Wolf? Stays away out of the berm, takes a helpless look across to the pit lane area to try and read the instructions that his crew are putting on the board for him. Eight laps done. Guadagnini now 16 and a half seconds clear of Simon Langenfelder. He's there in second, just at the front of this trio. Kader Wolf third, Guillaume fourth. 
We'll wait for Oriol, Oriol Oliver to come through in fifth place. Jürgen Matthias Talvico will stay in sixth position. Seventh for uh, Matthias Vestrinen. Eight, Alberto Barcella. Nine, Kelvin Bruggen. And ten, Guillermo Perez Plaza. Rafael Giusio is in 11th. And then we've got Liam Everts, 12, 13, Mike Guerda, 14, Eddie Wade, 15, Andrea Bonacorsi. Then we've got Joel Rizzi, Alessandro Facca, Adam Kovacs, Dave Puyka, Max Paulson. I was talking to Joel Rizzi's dad this morning when I was uh, doing the rounds. First thing, and just said that... And who's that gone down? Oh, and uh, Langenfelder out of second place. How's he managed that? You're either going inside and sweeping all the way around to the outside, or just watch this. Oh, OK. Just lost it, and uh, no time to have a drink there, my friend. Picks himself up, though, in fourth at the moment. But is he going to have wet, muddy gloves? Going to make it difficult to hold on to those grips for the next couple of laps. So, Kader Wolf retakes second position, and Tom Goyal coming in uh, a little bit lower. Got a nice line there, hasn't he? Kader Wolf was uh, a little bit too much hang time. I know we've got base jumpers around the circuit, but no time to test that out mid race. So Guyon up to second. Nine laps complete. He will take over second overall in the uh, classification. And because he's also found his way past the 14 of Kader Wolf. Kader Wolf gone missing. Yeah, he has. Turn three. So uh, out of third position, Kader Wolf picks himself up in fourth now. What happened there then? Just lose the front going in. You come over the finish line jump there and then step up into that right hander. Kader Wolf obviously going down. Maybe he was just trying to challenge Tom Goyon, maybe back in the second position, but you see the body language there, just a little bit dejected. Just needs to focus, regroup for the next seven minutes plus two laps. There's the number 14, De Wolf. So Langenfelder back in the third, just here, WZ Racing. To be uh, Langenfelder's best finish of the season so far. I know we're only in round two, but here's your leader, though. Did get a third-place finish last year in Latvia. 6-3. Got him his best finish, fourth overall, but... Where's he going to finish this weekend? 11th, didn't score in race one yesterday, Langenfelder. 3.09 here. Willem Perez Plaza, we saw quite a bit of him yesterday. Then she came home in third place after being passed around about the halfway mark by Tom Guyon. So the F4E racing KTM. Team owned by Jimmy Verberg. Launching his way. Down the hill behind the pit lane area, look. Not bothered about any pit signals. Five to go. Got an now. 18 seconds clear almost of Tom Goyal. And what's been a, a stunning performance from the Italian on the Maddie race in Husqvarna. Not seen too much of him. Tom Goyen second, Simon Langenfelder third, Kader Wolf four, Oriol Oliver five, Jorgen Matthias Talvico, Matthias Vestrinen, Alberto Barcella, and then this guy here, Guillem Perez Plaza in ninth place. That's Kader Wolf. Trying to get back on terms with Simon Langenfelder, who fell. Went from one side of the track in that corner to the other. Right to left or left to right as we look down on that left-hand turn. Starting to look around a little bit too much, actually, uh, Kader Wolf. 
needs to focus on what else, on, on what he's doing, actually. Still, pretty decent performance from him, though. Going to get on the podium for the first time in 1-2-5 competition. Got four minutes plus two to go. You see the bottom of your screen. He's about to come round and complete lap 11. Guadagnini. That gap's starting to come down now, though. Tom Goyal staying constant on the uh, on a 53, 54. But Guadagnini just backing it off ever so slightly. Where's the story of the race so far, then? Tom Goyal making that one mistake whilst he was in fourth position. He was going after Simon Langenfelder. And he just ran wide coming into the final turn. Guillaume followed Kader Wolf in. This was a battle for second place. Got a little too deep, but then it was Langenfelder who went from third to second with that move on to Wolf. Shortly after that, Langenfelder fell from uh, second to fourth. And then uh, Kader Wolf got caught. This was for third. So Tom Goyant now in the second position. Here's Simon Langenfelder. He's still in third place. He inherited third as Kader Wolf went down. Just a couple of laps ago. De Wolf is closing in though. Looks like he's had a decent lap and a couple of mistakes there from Langenfelder. Probably wondering where the third place finish is going to bring him. Did score in race one. We're picking up 20 points here in race two for third place. That'll give him 10th overall. So we are looking at uh, 309 there of uh, Perez Plaza almost out the front door at the end of the straight he as he goes after Alberto Barcella for eighth. Lucky to stay up there. This is where Kader Wolf fell a couple of laps ago, handing third base back to uh, Langenfelder here. Guadagnini, 15 and a half seconds clear of Tom Goyon, though. Here he is, the Maddie Racing Hasvana rider. Coming up behind the 202 of Lucas Di Sorrent, uh, Luca Di Sorrent, the Yamaha Europe BMX 125 MJC rider. Guadagnini spent more than a few laps around this place. His eyes must have lit up when he saw this venue on the calendar again, the 125s. Just been clean and pristine, hasn't he, all day, all weekend. Matty Racing Husky rider, just in a class of his own this weekend. There's Jorgen Matthias Talviku, the A1M Husqvarna rider, currently circulating in sixth place. Be good enough for fifth overall, just one behind Willem Ferres Plaza. Lonely ride, it looks like, for him there. Kader Wolf again, taking a look across to see what's going on around him. Got about 10 seconds over Oriel Oliver, where he did have at the start of the lap. So it's going to be three to go because uh, Guadagnini and Goyon already over the line. Look, and the time has ticked away. They've already passed by for the 13th time. 125 winners in the past here include uh, Paul Jonas, who went 1-1 in 2013. David Puchis. Took a double moto victory in 2014. Maxime Renault, of course, now riding in MX2. Didn't win a race here, but he did take the overall on the Yamaha back in 2015 with a 2-2. Two -two. Wasn't wearing a 2-2. 2-2 was the, uh, the scores. Uh, Rubini was 16. 
winner with a second and a first. Yago Kietz took the race win in Moto number one that day. And uh, last year, Emilio Scuteri edged out Emil Weckman and Rennie Hoffer. Tom Guion, who is going to take second overall today, came home fourth. But Matteo Guadagnini is going to add his name to the, uh, the win list here in 125 competition. There's Tom Guion in amongst the traffic. Coming up behind the 422 of Camden McLennan. And McLennan just running into trouble on the hill. But here is the 101, your race leader for Maddie Race in Husqvarna, Mattia Guadagnini. Such a nice, tidy riding style. Just making these conditions look so easy. Here's Tom Guillon. He'll come over the line in seconds to start his penultimate lap for VRT. That gap now, 14 and a half, and that's just cosmetic values. Going to have to ride awfully hard to try and knock down 14 and a half seconds in the next two laps. And he is going to be relying on a, uh, a slight error or two from your race leader. Doesn't look like that's going to come anytime soon, though. Yeah, he looks across and already sees on the opposite direction the race leader. All right, here's Kader Wolf. Out on his own, three seconds behind Simon Langenfelder. A couple of back markers between him and the German, though, on that WZ race in KTM. Looks like he's regrouped after his little fall and one or two laps where he had mistakes. Track a lot more open than it was yesterday in Platz. It's because our crew have been out and fluffed up. Try to aerate the circuit as best they can just to make it prime for racing today. Cautionary yellow there, man down on the top of the hill. Oh, and uh, man, a couple of riders down at the bottom there. Look, one rider already got his helmet off. He's just uh, not liking that. Not sure who that was, but didn't look good at the bottom of the hill there. Here's Tom Guillon. He's had this part of the racetrack dialed, hasn't he? And this guy's had the whole track dialed all weekend long. Matteo Guadagnini getting ready to take the one lap board then. For about one, and, uh, one minute 55, 56 is all that stands between him and uh, an emphatic double race victory here. On home soil, quite literally. Fans appreciate the effort that he's put in this weekend. Might even have time to take in the, the stunning surroundings, the snow-capped mountains of the Dolomites here. Maybe later, though, eh, Matt? Tom Guillon will be heading downhill any moment now in the opposite direction. But what a performance from Mattia Guadagnini. Tall, softly spoken Italian. Rocking the surfer look at the moment with his uh, blonde bob flowing out the back of that helmet of his. Cautionary yellow still for the rider down at the bottom of the hill. Bike still laying in the track. Here's the number 14 of Kader Wolf, still there in fourth place. This will be good enough for third overall. The first time we get to see the young Dutchman on the podium. I think he was in tears when he came over the line second in the second race as uh, he was greeted by his trainer last year. Rasmus Jorgensen, who takes care of the Rockstar Energy Husqvarna squad in the MX2 division under the watch live Jackie Martins, but already celebrating as he passes pit lane and the Maddie Racing crew, but Mattia Guadagnini, he entered the final lap with a 14-second buffer 
nice little bit of leg swag there as the Italian crosses the line, takes a double moto win, celebrates and gets his fans lit up here. The chainless chainsaws going crazy. Will that be for the first time and only time today, or are we going to expect a little more of that a little later on? Tom Guyon crosses the line second. Third should be Simon Langefelder, but uh, our split showing and uh, celebrating with the fans there already. Look, Guadagnini. Right, is it going to be Langenfelder or Kader Wolf on the final lap? It might just be the number 14, Kader Wolf. No, Langenfelder does go through. So Langenfelder then goes through in third. Here's Kader Wolf and uh, takes a quick look behind him. He was caught in the final stages there by Oriol Oliver. Might not have made a difference. But uh, he realises he's also made the podium, the number 14, Kader Wolf. The Rockstar Energy has found a rider and he's just being told, and there he celebrates, look, it's just a little fist pump. He'll be over the moon with that. So quite an, an eclectic mix of riders to, for Lisa Leyland to talk to after the podium ceremonies, but her winner, or the winner, will be making his way down to her any moment now, of course, Mattia Guadagnini. And uh, he will extend his lead to 10 at the top of the championship over Tom Goyon as well. He arrived here one point ahead of Jürgen Talviku. He will leave here on 93, Tom Goyon on 83, and Kada Wolf will move up to third in the championship. So uh, a good day for the young Dutch rider. Just one point clear of uh, Talviku in the uh, championship chase. So the 125s come in then. Some dude has uh, left home with his shower cap intact. Anyway, here's Lisa with Matthias, uh, Matteo Guadagnini. Matteo Guadagnini, congratulations. 1-1 one, one in front of your home crowd. It doesn't get much better than this. No, it's perfect. Well, it was my dream, win in Italy. And yeah, I take a good start to the all shot and then uh, Try to, to to do a big gap in the first lap. So yeah, it was uh, a lot uh, before. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. I want to thank all the people uh, around the track, around me, and the friends, uh, the team, the sponsor. Thank you guys. Well deserved. Congratulations. Didn't get the ride here last year, Mattia Guadagnini, but makes up for it this weekend. Of course, he was just healing from a broken collarbone, wasn't he? That he picked up in Valkenswaard at the opening round last year. Miss Trentino came back in Latvia, picked up three wins in Germany, France and Belgium. On his way to second in the championship. But this weekend, he gets to stand on the top step of the podium in front of his home fans. And he'll get to hear the national anthem of Italy as well in just a few moments' time. And uh, good job, Mattia Guadagnini. So official confirmation then for the uh, EMX 125 riders presented by FMF Racing coming up now. And it was a, another emphatic win from Mattia Guadagnini. Tom Goyan second, Simon Langerfelder third, Kader Wolf fourth, gets him on the podium, Oriel Oliver fifth, Jürgen Matthias Talviku sixth, Matthias Vestrinen and Guillaume Perez Plaza, Alberto Barcella nine, Andrea Bonacorsi ten, and we had Liam Evans, Mike Guarda, Kjell Verbruggen, Raphael Giusio, Alessandro Facca, Andrea uh, Roncoli, Adam Kovacs, uh, David Braceres Martinez, Mirko Valsecchi and Nico Grutman. So the number 36, uh, Nico Grutman from Germany on the Husqvarna. Overall looks like this, Guadagnini picking up maximum points ahead of Guion, who takes two seconds. Kader Wolf, who takes two fourth place finishes and is on the podium for the first time this year. A top 10 finish for Liam Everts. Last weekend he was 14th, ninth overall this weekend. And Mike Guarda come out, comes home in 10th place. Championship, Guadagnini extends his points lead to 10 now over Tom Guyon, who moves up from uh, third to second. Kader Wolf moves up from fourth to third. Talviku slips from second to fourth. Oriol Oliver stays in fifth place.
Manufacturer's Championship looks a little bit like this. Husqvarna leading the way on 97, just ahead of KTM and, Hus uh, and uh, Yamaha. Some nice trophies for the riders to look forward to. Just got a glimpse of them a moment ago. They just see them on the left-hand side. But third overall, riding the rock star energy, Husqvarna, Kader Wolf. And the little duchy is uh, more than happy to be up there on the third step of the podium. Tom Goyon, second overall, Team VRT. Doesn't look too happy, does he? The young French rider probably knows with starts he could have challenged Mattia Guadagnini, but that would have been a tough act because uh, Mattia Guadagnini lights the fans up here as he takes the top step of the podium for Matty Racing Hasfana. Two wins out of two. And the homeboy realising uh, one of his uh, ambitions to win. And uh, good to see Max's tyres on the podium as well. Uh, new uh, into the paddock this year. There's uh, Marco Maddy to the left. But Kader Wolf takes his third place trophy, his first piece of silverware from Fabiano Bertotti, the MCA track manager here. Nice trophy as well to Tom Guyon from BRT, KTM, delivered by Giovanni Coppioli, the FMI president. Mattia Guadagnini, though, he will take the biggest trophy of all, and that will take pride of place. That's a heavy thing as well, though, he'll be taking that to the gym tomorrow. The Maddie Racing Husqvarna rider, Martin de Graff, the acting FIM Europe president. Then team trophy will be delivered to uh, Marco Maddy. Of course, from uh, Maddy Race in Husqvarna. Gianfranco Pasqua, the MCA president, on hand to deliver that. But that's your top three here this weekend. And the uh, championship leader's red plate will stay in the hands of Mattia Guadagnini to match the race shirt that he's worn all day and all of yesterday. And Eddie Hurd, the FM Europe Motocross Commission president, on hand to deliver that as he always does for the European rounds. But uh, for the first time this weekend, the Italian national anthem. Mattia Guadagnini, Tom Goyon, Caden Wolfe, top three here this weekend at the European round of Trentino here at Pietro Morata. We'll talk to the top three in a moment. Uh, at least Leyland waiting down there already, but uh, these guys will celebrate. And while they do, we'll take a look at some of the best moments from EMX 125 presented by FMF Racing. Dicevo grande che grande Tom, grandissimo Mattia Guadagnini che si porta a casa un'altra Matteo Guadagnini, massive congratulations to you. Two comfortable wins in front of your home crowd, and most importantly, you've extended that championship lead. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, you know, win here in front of the home public is 
fantastic. Take, uh, I take two good starts and then uh, push uh, the first few laps, so take a good gap and then uh, just control the race and finish one on one. Uh, yeah, it's such amazing, amazing things. Yeah. Congratulations. Second overall today we have Tom Gu on. Tom, a second and uh, what? Well, second in race two. Perhaps disappointing because your starts let you down a little bit, but you've got a podium. Yeah, too bad start for me. Uh, I finished second and try, I tried to be back and uh, yeah, I finished second at uh, two races. Uh, it's difficult because uh, my start was so bad and uh, yeah, the track was uh, really Im improved. And, uh, yeah, see you in Montova. Third overall today, we have Kay DeWolf. Kay, a second and a fourth place finish. Good start. Little mistake in that second race. Maybe lost your focus a bit, but you got your first podium, so you must be pretty excited. Yeah, for sure. I'm really uh, pretty excited. Uh, good start of the season. And just last week was weekend was also really well. Uh, went fourth overall and, yeah, really happy with it. And I made a small mistake, but, yeah, we, will, we need to work on that thing. And... Uh, I want to say thanks to the Husqvarna factory team and everyone who support me. Thank you. Great job. Congratulations. So we're just in Mateo. So a pair of fourth place finishes then for Katie Wolf. He gets him third overall and uh, jumps him up to third in the championship as well. The Rockstar Energy Husqvarna rider will be looking forward to the uh, break now for like the next four or five weeks before we return to action. Back here in Italy at Mantua, just a couple of hours down the road from here, but. Uh, Tom Guillaume, you see the disappointment and you hear it in his voice as well. He knows he has to work on those starts if he is to challenge Mattia Guadagnini. But two second place finishes keeps his championship alive as he uh, moves uh, up into second place. Ten points now the gap between him and Mattia Guadagnini. And uh, the BRT KTM rider, well, he doesn't have long to wait before he gets to ride at France at Saint-Jean d'Angely. That'll be the week after Mantova. But Mattia Guadagnini, the matter racing Husqvarna rider, goes 1-1 here. He stands on the top step of the podium. He listens to the national anthem and uh, he extends his lead. He is the man to beat as we head to Mantova. Round three of the European 125 Championship presented by FMF Racing. Right, uh, he'll enjoy his time. Out on track, we have MX2 warm-up. That'll be followed by MXGP warm-up. But we'll be back on uh, MXGP TV at 11.25 local time, and that will be for EMX 250 Race 2. We'll see you then.